Well, obviously, uh, not exactly a thing of beauty, but uh, thankfully, defensively, we were able to get some things done, and we kept them off the glass enough, and then eventually, in uh, just about at, at the nick of time, we were able to get a couple shots to go down. But uh, credit to Rutgers for how they played us. Um, I thought Steve has done a good job with that team all year and watching games that scores sometimes aren't indicative of how they've been playing. Uh, final scores, and, and obviously they um, try to make things hard on you, and if you don't <coughs> shoot it well, um, you know, then, then these type of things can you be in these type of games. But uh, I thought we did just enough down the stretch, and obviously, like I said, defensively, um, the defense and rebounding saved us tonight to give us a chance down the stretch. Um, it's not what we want to do, obviously, but it, it means a lot for this team to come together through a really bad shooting night and come out on top. Um, obviously, we don't want to play from behind, but it's kind of an uneasy feeling. And then once you get on top, you kind of want to maintain that lead. But we were going back and forth there a little bit. Uh, so we just ran a regular out bounds play, um, and I got it. And the guy was denying Bronson, who we were originally trying to get it to. And uh, at that point, there was probably six seconds left on the clock, so you just got to make a play. And I went to the hoop and um, credited Coach Paris for always getting on me. Pump fake, I pump faked, and then made the layup. Yeah, obviously missing all those shots, it didn't feel good for me or, you know, nobody could really throw it in the ocean today for most of the game. Um, but I just told our guys, keep battling, keep fighting, keep trying to stay positive because, you know, it seemed like nothing was going our way. And then, like Coach said, right at the nick of time, um, shots, a couple shots went in for us. Um, sorry, what was the second part of that question? Yeah, I mean, we just do what Wisconsin does, get it in the post. And uh, Ethan's a great player, so credit him for making the right reads, making the right plays, either you know kicking it out or um, scoring and getting to the free throw line. Bronson, uh, what did you think of Rutgers' defense? How was it different than uh, we saw them you know, early uh, last month? Yeah, I thought their defense had a little bit you know, of an extra gear tonight. I know they were trying to get up under me and pressure me. Nigel Johnson um, did a great job of that. Just um, sticking to me throughout the whole game, not letting me get anything easy. Um, and credit them for forcing, forcing 15 turnovers, however many, however many turnovers we had. Um, so, I mean, credit them. We got to take care, better care of the ball as well. Uh, Ethan, uh, after your post game responsibility, you uh, blew kisses to the crowd. Uh, how much uh, did it mean to uh, play at Madison Square Garden again, first of all, and then have the support that you did? Uh, uh, it's always a special thing when you can play at MSG, and yet once you get going, um, it, it kind of just turns into a basketball game. You don't really think about it too much. But then at the end there, I mean, when you look around and you're in MSG and you have so many great Badger fans that came all the way out or in New York City that came to watch you, it's really amazing how well we travel and, and how well the alumni support us. So that was something special, and I mean, I just savored the moment. It was kind of like a curtain call. and. Whenever you can get a curtain call on MSG, I mean, I'm not going to pass it up. So. Anything else for the players? You good? Yes. Okay, thanks, Justin. All right, Coach. <coughs> okay, questions for Coach? Coach, I was telling you, you controlling the team adjustment, missing shots, but did you, for the most part, like the looks? Yeah, I thought uh, I thought of the twelve, the first half specifically from three, eight of them were good. There were some that we maybe should have either didn't turn, uh, touch the post before we shot it, or we shot it too early off an offensive rebound. Um, but you know, with Bronson taking you know ten of those twenty-five, um, you know, we just had to keep having confidence that eventually one was going to go down. Um, 
So as long as the quality of the shot is good, I don't have a problem with that. As long as we're playing inside out, um, we started the game playing inside out, and then we went away from it a little bit. And then, uh, you know, credit to them for how they were trying to play us and pack things in. And um, you know, if we're making shots, you know, then then obviously you have a different situation, and, and the score changes a little bit. And when you're not, you got to rely on some other things to be able to help you along. Yeah, because we've had to find other ways to win other than just, just scoring. You know, if you look at our game, even in Madison, the final score maybe is not indicative of how the game was. And we had shots go in. But uh, and you, like I mentioned before, if you watch their games throughout the year and, and disregard a final score, um, you know, they're trying to, to play that way in terms of, you know, forcing you to take some of those shots. And when they're not going down, if you're really struggling, then you're in this type of a game. Um, but I, I thought... You know, we've grown a lot in different areas. This was another area that, hey, we've got a – the maturity of this group, I think, was evident. They didn't, didn't get rattled, didn't panic in the timeouts, didn't panic in the huddles. Um, in fact, I was trying to tell them jokes to loosen them up a little bit just to say, hey, the ball will go in. We stick to it. We'll be fine. Um, but credit our guys for how they, you know, gutted it out defensively and were able to limit them to one shot when they've been really uh, – been hurting teams on the glass. Uh, throughout league play, um, you know, and then, like I said, eventually find it, find a way to get the ball to go in. And free throw line was too, even though we didn't shoot it terrific. Uh, getting there 28 times was big for us. Well, I think defensively we try to follow. We have a set of rules that and a plan in place. From, and it doesn't really vary from game to game. And, and uh, as long as we abide by those and follow that plan, typically defensively, we're, we've always been pretty good. Um, you know, they were able to uh, get loose a couple times on us. We made a couple mistakes on screens, but they also hit some tough shots. I thought Corey Sanders hit a couple tough shots, and um, we're, they were able to make enough plays to be able to hang there when we were obviously trying to find our way as well. So our guys, I thought defensively for the most part, did a pretty good job as a whole. And um, you know, it's a credit to our bench, too. We were able to get some play off the bench. Uh, Jordan Hill, Brevin Pritzel, who hasn't played a lot, just trying to find somewhere to get a spark. And, uh, and we worked through some foul trouble a little bit as well. So our guys found a way, and that's, that's what good teams do. When things aren't going well, you dig down and try to find some way to, to get yourself through it. Well, he, he does so much for us from, you know, he can guard multiple positions. Uh, he's, he's a terrific passer, as you saw when they, you know, he, some plays he made to Hap when they were in the zone. His vision is very good. He's very unselfish. I didn't think he was aggressive enough offensively until late. Um, and we, you know, went to him there late in the start of overtime, uh, and he delivered there. And, um, but I, he impacts the game in so many other ways. And I want him to be more aggressive offensively from the start. Um, but I think he, he does so many things, you know, 11 rebounds. He, he's always on the glass and does some very good things that maybe don't, everybody looks at points, but he impacts the game for us in a lot of other ways. Uh, you mentioned the importance of getting to the free throw line. Uh, the team grabbed nine offensive rebounds in that second half, and that was time about how important were those second chance, third chance. Well, it's, we talk about 50-50 balls a lot, you know, extra effort plays. Uh, when the ball's up on the rim, it's it's a free, um, it's free. So it's anybody's ball. To that was uh, that's part of the maturity of this group, and they understand. Hey, we got to make something happen. So let's go get a second chance and and try to get back to the free throw line. Or um, we extended some possessions that even on a rebound when we had it, I had a lead there in overtime. So that's again a group that understands that there's a lot of ways that you have to find to to win games, and um, you know credit to them to. Continue to battle and not flinch when the when it didn't look good. Anything else for coach? You good? All right, thank you.